What up, y'all? Welcome to Here's the Thing with Kev on stage and... That chick, Angel. Thank you to the Patreon who's watching this live. Because of you, Angel is compensated for her appearance. Oh, she yeah. can buy food for all the boys she has in her home. I got a lot of them. She tried for girls, but God said no, <laughs> Angel. He said absolutely More not. balls! <laughs> 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 a lot of sex of them in my house. So Bastards. if you want to help, join KevOnStageStudios.com, Patreon. If you want to help and you already joined, feel free to up your, your thing. Say, yeah. hey, Angel, Angel want to bless you. And you know, <laughs> Angel's going to be blessed. You know, she braiding her hair by herself, guys. She did that alone. Did this by myself. She came in last time with a, with a scarf on and said, Kev, ain't nothing up here. <laughs> ain't nothing. But hopes and dreams. <laughs> But I got it done. But Angel. now it looks good, Angel. I know that's a lot of work. Does your arm cramp up when you do it? I mean, I take so many breaks. Well, <laughs> my children make me take breaks. So it's not like I'm doing it by choice. But that's yeah. True. Yeah. So it gives me some time. Well, a lot happened since August Alcina and Jada. I know. That was not that we're going back to that. That was so fun. Angel, really. I watched that video so many times. <laughs> like I wasn't sitting there. I was like, man, we. I knew it would click. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah. I didn't expect the click to happen with our second bonus episode. That was second bonus. Second bonus. I said, oh, I got to run for my money with old Angel over there. <laughs> Angel Tanks. I got to run for my money. That's so um, it was so fun. Yeah. So again, Patreon people, they got the full episode mm -hmm. uh, and people joined because of that video. It's always a little crazier on the bonus. Angel, she was a couple of mimosas deep when we started. <laughs> and, uh, and speaking of mimosas, down in Atlanta, they had Club COVID Compound. Josh, please place the video right here. If you're unaware, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> in Atlanta over the weekend, Haywire weekend, uh, there was some rump shaking going on. Oh, it was a lot. I mean, we used to call it clothes burning back in the day. <laughs> clothes burning? Y'all didn't call it clothes. Uh -huh. That's, Is that hunching? Yeah. Oh, I, I know good hunching. <laughs> you know hunching good hunching was my dream. As a church kid, I said, listen, just get me to the hunch. Get me I, to boy, the we, hunch. Lead me to the... <laughs> Just give me the hunching. Boy, we hunching over here. What we hunched through my jeans? Uh, yeah, my we, jeans was hot. We called it clothes burning oh, because ah. all that friction, all that friction, Ooh. that good friction. Oh, man. We wouldn't always say, amen, but by the grace of God. <laughs> ah, so in Atlanta, I, don't, I think it was Club Compound. Yes, Club Compound. Uh, they built a pool oh. in... <laughs> The club. <laughs> and I got sent this video so many times. Like, Kev, will y'all please talk about it? Yeah. I'm curious to hear your thoughts first, Angel. People, and then I'll give you mine. You know, People are bored. You know what I'm saying? Like, COVID has really got people losing their mind. Because was this something they were doing before coronavirus? Or they were like, you know what? <laughs> you know, Trump said that if we drink chlorine or Clorox, <laughs> so what if we hunch in it? What if we twerk <laughs> in Clorox? I mean, <laughs> forget masks, forget gloves. People are wearing G-string bikinis, Man. getting pounded, like straight up her hysterectomies were happening. <laughs> That's Not a, pounded? They, there was a dude that was like, oh. pop, pop, pop. I mean... <laughs> Hard. I mean, all dancing. There was no like any like actual sexual oh. intercourse on the 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 video we watched. But like, it was so much contact. <laughs> it was so. I know bodily fluids had to been like kind of spilling in some place. I just oh. people have to be bored. That's what it's got to be. That's kind of what I thought about it. Like now we're shaming them. As a whole, they kind of all got shamed. Yes, they did. There were some men in there who were August Alcina. If I die after this, <laughs> it was worth it. Yeah. I, mean, I got twerked on. Yeah. I want to point out something, Josh. Now, I don't know. You didn't put the sound in here. There was a, a twerk rendition of Never Would Have Made It. <laughs> Josh, just play a little section of it here. <laughs> Marvin Sapp did not write that song. Are you sure? For, <laughs> for this to happen, I went on YouTube and found the whole thing. I said, y'all was in here twerking to, it was never, would have, ne never, would have, ne never. And we were like, oh, <laughs> never. <laughs> it was never, like, what happened? Never, you know, never. we don't need much. We just need a beat. And then we lose our ever loving mind. <sighs> and the people weren't even doing stuff that looked like it even felt good. I, like, you know what I'm saying? There were a couple of moves where I was just like, bruh, you know a hernia at a disc. Like, why? 
Why are you doing that? Like, He's going to be 80 years old. Like, yeah, I threw my back up <laughs> down in, uh, was it 20? During the club COVID, we down at the compound. I was so excited to get out of the quarantine. Boy, I was a young man then. I got corona because of it. <laughs> but boy, that night before I got that corona, I threw my, I hurt, I threw my back up. I believe it hurt in that disc. <laughs> yes. Around right about 20, was it, baby? Oh, yeah, it was 20. You was hunching on me. We was close burning. <laughs> and that's how I met your father. <laughs> that's how I met your daddy. <laughs> I couldn't help to think. One is, fit. well, let me tell you, the one part positive i was so proud of how many black women were not afraid to get their hair wet i feel like we have evolved it was a new thing yeah i was like they are not scared and they ain't everybody got a natural like some people had in full-blown weaves but i did wonder how many could swim if things went around oh. I, I was like now can that baby swim because things might not go well one dude was lifting a hefty woman he, he was, was determined strong. he was like baby I'm gonna pick you up I'm about to get all of this meat that's <laughs> oozing out of the little because she had on the like the strings the, the floss all over her body and he was like give it all to me Bertha and she was willing to let him have it and I was like okay well. were you jealous of the people in Atlanta at Club COVID no, I have a blow up pool in my backyard. <laughs> a COVID you can, free. You and Marcus can do that. Uh, and we will both be concussed as he likes to <laughs> We will be passed out because we will have injured our heads falling. <laughs> I, we are no longer of that age where we can have that type of fun. That's how you know you're getting older. You look at stuff and you be like, when I was a young man, <laughs> I could be just, I start rubbing my knees like, man, I see, I never club. That was never my thing. Uh -huh. Like, I was never much of a dancer. I was saved, uh -huh. sanctified, uh -huh. you know. Uh, turkey club, I, I partook in those. <laughs> but that, I remember one time I walked into the club with my brother to pick up somebody, and I was like, cool. So when the rapture happens and I die right now and go to hell, it's my fault <laughs> because I am in a, uh, I am in here. Uh, I'm in a club. There, it was an under eight, it was a under 21 club in El Paso. Oh. All these high school kids and stuff, it was looking back. I think God was like, you're fine. I mean, this, you guys are literally, they have slushies instead of alcohol. Like, <laughs> right. I promise you. You're going to be okay. This is, this is not Sodom and Gomorrah out here. But I was like, Jesus, <laughs> ouch. <laughs> you, I didn't dance. I was here. I was but, just picking up somebody. <laughs> I didn't even drive. I can't drive. You know that. You know I don't have, I'm 15, I don't have a license. My brother said I had to come, what, what must I do to be saved? Are and you, I ran at the altar that Sunday. Oh, did you? Oh, you know the pastor, y'all was in that club yesterday. Like, oh. I was, I was, I was. <laughs> he was, but I didn't dance. People don't dance no more. All they do is this. Uh, there's no worse altar call than the one where you did the sin they just preached oh. about. Oh. Like, oh, so y'all just, God, you talk, you talking behind my back. All of it. <laughs> oh, when I was in college, and that's when, that was the only time I had my wild face. I stayed up at that altar. I was like, we let's try this again, because whatever <laughs> prayer y'all did before did not work. Because I'm going to tell you, I did the same daggone thing I came up here to get prayer for, okay, right after service. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need y'all to get the fresh pompeian <laughs> or, uh, olive oil and squirt that directly on my head just pour it on top of my head because it didn't work last time elder it did not work <laughs> you know what squirt it in my eye and maybe you made me blind i couldn't see the sin that i was walking into right. it's the whole seeing thing god you uh, remember what you did to saw and you covered his eyes and scales <laughs> do that nope. because as soon as i leave here they call me I, i'm going right over there right Right. I'd be like, Lord, remove him from my life. Move him away. Because obviously, I'm not going to do right. I remember when I was having my summer of 99. <laughs> Cash Money Records was taking over for the summer of 99. I remember, I remember apologizing to God mid-sex. Mid <laughs> oh, like, my God. I was like, <laughs> on my way over, I'm like, God, you know where I'm going. Oh, my God. <laughs> And I was riding the bus. It took a long time oh, to get over there. I you was like, had time to change your Every mind. time the bus stopped, like, you going to get off? And I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm, no. I don't know where to transfer from here. <laughs> yeah, I can't get, I'll be lost. God, you know, I don't want to be lost. She walking away. And I used to be in the mid-sin, like, oh, I should Lord. be doing this. Mm. Soon as I'm done, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm done forever. Then you were safe, safe. Oh, I <laughs> You were safe, safe. I never felt bad until I got to church. I was like, ah, man, y'all can smell the sin on me, can't y'all? Ah, uh, Lord, <laughs> what is wrong with me, Jesus? Uh, yeah. Yeah, those those college years, I had to get my whole life together. I did. Once I met Melissa, I was like, cool, cool, I'm good. But, mm -hmm. man, that, that last summer, I was like, man... <laughs> 
it's funny because I moved from Washington. I moved to Washington. And I was like, okay, the sin is back in El Paso. Uh-huh. I mm-hmm. met new people. I was like, oh, no. I'm the sinner. <laughs> I just, I'm just sitting in a different city now. I'm doing the same thing. I thought I was going. I move. I'll be good, God. I just this El Paso is. Just, you know, I don't know what that means in Spanish. The past. Oh. I don't know what they mean yeah, by the past. Yeah. I'm coming to the coma. I'm gonna be good. <laughs> right. Got here like I'm. St- oh, I'm still doing this. Yeah. 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 Maybe I've got to change me. I mean, it, that's right. what they meant by renewed mind. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I'm just sitting in a different zip code now. <laughs> I'm fully aware God knows what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 So. Uh, now here's a crazy thing, Angel. Here's what? a curveball for you. What do you do in Corona? Because Georgia is open, right? Right. So we're mad at them, mm-hmm. and it's like um, they're not breaking the law. They're, they're not even breaking the city mandate. Mm-mm. What they're breaking is the like their community. Hips. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they're breaking their hips and their kneecaps. They're COVID. young, Angel. Yeah. That's Meg the Stallion age. They're, you're right. Their you're knees right. are strong, vibranium knees. They're, you're they're, right. They're, 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 those knees are in prime condition. Prime. Yeah. This That's is the Tracy best time to use them. It's the best time to use You're they're right. They're Jordan. They're twerking from the free throw line, essentially. <laughs> These girls, <laughs> you're 19, 20. They don't yeah. got to take glucosamine all no. the time. Exactly. <laughs> they ain't going to supplement. Listen, I raised Doughboy last year. We raised three times. I was sore for a month. <laughs> For a combined 40 seconds of racing, I was sore for a month. No. Right? I was like, I I was mad. We went on tour. My inner thighs. I was like, you can't do this uh, yeah. anymore. But these young kids, they didn't. They can do it. They can do it all so day, all night. What happens is we, the people who are not going, they're like, this is why I tweeted beating this pandemic is a group project. Because yeah. it's like, okay, we're social distancing. Josh is six feet away. I'm not going on tour, Mm -hmm. but then D.L. Hughley goes on tour, right? Right, And he's sitting up there with no mask, sold out out shows. And these people are not, like their city or their state has said, this is actually okay. okay." So, and we're mad at them because we're like, so my question to you is when, if the city says it's okay, right, to, to, you know, Mm -hmm. this is open, nightclubs are open, when do we release the shame on people when, you know, the city said it's okay? Never. (laughs) <laughs> what are you talking about? Never. Do right. it, it will never. You got to sometimes think for yourself. It, just because your governor say it's fine, you got to be like, you don't care about me. You don't care about me. You want me to go up into COVID compound and get this Rona all up on my crotch and on my face. You got to at some point in time. I'm sorry. I'm just going to shame these people into doing right. <laughs> Rona was in that pool like, oh my, it's lit in here. We fit Rona in there twerking. That's my song. Yes. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> Rona was in there with the Meg Thee Stallion knees, man. Uh, yes. <laughs> Greg said something interesting. Greg said, since they just built that pool, there's no filtration system. Oh, no. So it's not a regular pool. They mm-hmm. built that indoor. It's not like an Olympic pool. It's oh, not. No. Like, they just put a bit, basically, a humongous version of your kiddie pool. I know. In yeah. there. So, there wasn't, no, it ain't coming in there now. Rona's, Rona's in there like. Whoosh. And if you don't think some of them grown men then pissed up in that oh, water because they didn't want to get out no. because they, they just got Sheila to dance with them. You know they weren't getting out. <laughs> no, long they weren't getting Sheila to dance with them through this pandemic. He just, they just poured Hennessy over it to hide the trail of pee. <laughs> We've been working on Nobody Sheila since March know. 18th, man. <laughs> I used to pee in pools, too. <laughs> what? Oh, I, I think a lot of kids did. Oh, when you were grown. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> ocean? Well, the ocean is a little different. When I was in Hawaii last, <laughs> me and Tahir was way out there, and I was like, shore is far. <laughs> It's going in and out. <laughs> I mean, the ocean is a little different. You got all the type, oh, all man. the animals are doing. Uh, fish, fish in their peeing angel. They are peeing and pooping. So, but a pool, a public pool, Kev, are you peeing at your house pool? No. <laughs> are you, Melissa, going to open up your own little club compound in your backyard? <laughs> I don't even use my pool. You are ridiculous. That's, that's how wealthy you are. That's, that's what that's called, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then he flexed it up on Twitter the other day too. Hell, yeah. slight flex. Yeah, slight, yeah. slight flex. Yeah, it can. It looks so good too on Twitter. And you don't use it. It's cold. I'm gonna flex my little uh, kitty pool <laughs> when I leave here. We put a tarp over it and everything to keep the leaves from getting in. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh man! I um, <clears throat> I, I've definitely um 
torn because I feel like as we reopen, because LA had just opened, mm-hmm. and we actually had it on the docket to talk about LA opening on July fourth. But before that day came, it was like, ha, ah, no, nope. never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Movies, gyms, restaurants, back, back down to close. And I was talking to Melissa. I was like, man, when are we gonna feel like? Obviously, normal is not coming back, Mm-mm. right? I, I know that. I don't even can't even compare it to pre-COVID. But I'm curious of like, is it a year, two years when people feel like, oh, I feel safe in venturing out? I, you know, there has to be not that I'm taking it, but there has to be a vaccine in place. I don't understand why people don't get this. Nothing has changed since March. It's actually worse. It, it, yeah, the numbers are way worse now. Substantially worse. Sub- but <laughs> but medically, nothing has changed. The medical condition of COVID has not changed. And people are like, nah, but when it gets hotter, we could be outside <laughs> barbecuing together. Nothing has changed. Oh so until something changes medically, like if there's some advancement in medicine, yeah, we go. But the be vaccine stuck. coming out, you ain't finna take it. So what's changing in you? I mean, I'ma still though be the way I am. I'ma still be gloved up and masked up. I'm still take precautions, but I'ma need these people who don't want to go ahead and get shot in the arm. Live your life, but and that's the thing about the vaccine. It's not a it's not a post thing. It's a preventative. Yes, thing. it's, it's a like preventative. the flu shot, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So once you get running, you can't then be like, oh, "Vaccine me up, vax me up." You yeah, can't no. vax me up. No, you, you're done. Yeah, you still got to have it. I think it will be a make people feel safer that there's something we can do, oh, right? Because right now you just feel like, well, there's nothing we can do against this except stay home, and it's kind of frustrating to be like, bro, like. And I'll, I'll, I'll be quite honest. I get, you know, people, you know, they had small family gatherings, mm-hmm. Juneteenth, you know, I had eight people. Mm-hmm. That's one thing. Mm-hmm. Ten people. Mm-hmm. 300 strangers. You yeah. don't in know a pool. who's coming in that pool. Grinding. Naked. Fluids everywhere. Fluids. Oh, vaginal fluid? It be coming. <laughs> I'm in the pool. I'm back. I'm V flu. (laughs) V men pee. Yeah. Sweat. All of it. And then so (laughs) listen, it's all it's stressful, man. Like you look at that, you're like, I done I done had no birthday party. I got Zoom this, every vacation pa- and then at least I feel better if we all not doing stuff. Then you go on Instagram, they're like, sucks for you. I'm at the <laughs> club right now. And I'm like, I'm stressed. I think we're all like stressed right now. Right. And whether it's isolation, cancel summer plans, or economic stress, we all have something on our minds. And it's important to talk it out. Mm-hmm. Talk and helps, plain and simple. Talkspace Online Therapy is here to help you do just that. Match with a licensed therapist from the comfort of your own home and get the support you need on whatever schedule works for you. Talk to your therapist 24-7 from your phone, computer, and hear back daily. I set myself up on talk space oh yeah mm-hmm. and i have a regular therapist mm-hmm. but you know that's a scheduled week mm-hmm. you no know, i go on fridays some days on tuesday i'm like man let me let me uh, hit you with this <laughs> and talk space is my supplemental therapy because it makes me be like man let me just get this thing off real quick and i personally like texting over talking anyway uh-huh. and much more over like actually going into the office even though we don't do that anymore so talk space has been very helpful for me there one month on talk space costs about the same as a single in-person therapy session. But with wow. Talkspace, you can send unlimited messages to your therapist and they'll engage with you at least five days a week. Mm-hmm. That means you never have to wait to share what's on your mind, it's which true. is important to me. Mm-hmm. I'll be stressed. <laughs> therapist Network and Talkspace therapists have experience treating depression, anxiety, substance abuse, trauma, relationship issues, food and eating, and much more. We all need to talk sometime and Talkspace gives us the support we deserve at a price we can afford. Match with your perfect therapist at Talkspace.com or download, don't download the app. Use promo code RIGHTEOUS, Righteous. to get $100 off your first month and support the show. That's Talkspace.com, promo code RIGHTEOUS. 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 All right, we're done with Club COVID, Ooh. but we're not done with Atlanta. Mm-mm. Because Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms oh, man. Mm-hmm. has... COVID. Yes, yeah, she does. I don't know. If she. I don't think she got it from Compound. That's what my husband was wondering when <laughs> I showed him. He said, "Was Keisha up in there?" <laughs> I was like, "I don't, I don't think that was her clapping." <laughs> I introduced Keisha, Mary Keisha Lance Bottoms at Essence last year. Look at you. And I was like, "Don't you go to COVID Compound, <laughs> Keisha? I can see the future." <laughs> but she has no symptoms and tested positive, which is what DL said yes. he had, and then he passed out. See, I look at this. I don't understand. 
understand why no one is understanding. Uh, that's the part that makes me feel feel crazy. It's not the being at home. It's not being able to go anywhere. It's when I feel like people just still don't understand. That is the problem. That is what makes this different than the flu, is that you've never ran into someone with the flu that has those symptoms. When someone right. has the flu, it takes you down. They have the flu, right? That's true. With this thing, it doesn't matter. Like it, it some people be looking as healthy as Kev, looking healthy as me, looking as healthy as Josh, and healthy as whoever is moving furniture above our head. <laughs> Y'all doing? <laughs> we'll do something. Do something. You didn't do something Will. last time, did you? Uh, but uh, they could potentially be a carrier in that spreads this even further. So I feel bad for her because I know it's got to be weird to be like. I mean, that's the reason why I'm getting tested. I have never, I haven't had any symptoms, but there, is there the potential that I could have caught it somewhere, like going to the grocery store, picking up something and not wash my hands at the right time? Absolutely. So, I mean, I feel for it because that's got to be, that's got to be a lot of anguish just being like, now who the heck was I around talking to, hugging babies, kissing them uh, on the cheek? That's the thing the most about this because me and Melissa were talking about this. They're talking about, going like the summer just started but our kids will be about to go back to school in about six weeks five or six weeks and i'm like there's no way school can be like last year like nah. you know they were but in some states they're like no nah, we're reopening and 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 the kids will social distance and i was like have you seen a children right <laughs> have you seen a you children a children to do anything that right. they're supposed to do you might as well call them puppies the exact same to tell put a group of puppies in one place and be like y'all don't touch each other <laughs> see what happens see what happens Oh, uh, I'd imagine my kid keeping a mask on all day. He gonna be he gonna be like a Republican. I can't breathe with it. <laughs> right. I, I I don't want it. You're disrespecting God's breathing <laughs> chamber that he put in me. That is what's going to happen if they put these kids in mask all day at school. I mean, I've already resolved in my head that my kids will be at the house yeah homeschool for at least the rest of 2020 once school starts back up listen speaking of that angel i don't know if you saw this harvard harvard said they're going all uh Uh, online virtual Uh and they are keeping the tuition price the same who 49,000 to be at the university of phoenix harvard campus I wish you would look me in my poor black face <laughs> and tell me you're going to charge me the same thing. I can't even come inside. Nah, nah. nah. Uh, uh. Harvard Community College is Bro, where I'll be going. Oh, when <laughs> I like tell you, y'all can't, and they go, their endowment is crazy. Y'all got, y'all got, you got it. You yes, got it. Yes, they could play, pay their staff and not charge as much as tuition, uh, uh, from tuition. They're just being buttheads like who like some people are not good virtual learners they have to have in-person contact somebody giving them examples and they want to charge almost five 50 grand 50 grand somebody I'm on patreon said you pay for the name and that is 100 percent then to i'll say name I my to child harvard then okay it's a lot cheaper that way it's only like two grand to have a kid i'll just do that you change I'll that name tomorrow that if you need to you yeah. got you got a couple <laughs> options <All> right uh. <laughs> Dang. I, I'm like, uh, the way we do everything in the world is changing. Education, yeah. Yeah. church, yeah. Uh, vacation, everything is changing. Mm-hmm. If you're not having in-person classes, you do not have then the same amount of overhead. You don't have the right. the, the dorms, you don't have the, the staff, you don't mm-hmm. have the air, like all that stuff goes with that i mean yeah. you obviously don't have to play the teachers but you can't convince me that with no none of that stuff your costs need to be the exact they same they're gonna be pocketing that they just gonna hold it in the at the school because there's what are they using the money for they i don't know better internet like mm. we be truly they want the better internet they better go to spectrum uh, uh, <laughs> with the wing uh, <laughs> listen we almost we were trying to send our oldest to we were trying to send our oldest to private school in the fall and it was the lord thy god that had us choose a public because i couldn't imagine how quickly i would have put a stop hold on uh, that check had i listen, written a check when we to, moved private, to la we tried to put our kids in private school and we were before we even got to the price it was right down here and they were like oh columbus shorts son goes here i was like cool look, we just we're gonna go ahead and leave now because if his son goes here and he pays 
That means we can't pay. <laughs> like, this we, is before we get... he got kicked off Scandal. <laughs> so he getting residual right. network checks. He's getting money, 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 money. I can't listen, man. We, I, I just moved here. We don't have Columbus short money. We're just short money. <laughs> Ayo. Ayo. But um, here's what I want to do. I want to switch subjects. Please, come on. T.I. Mm-hmm. 50 Cent. Yes. T.I. called uh, 50 Cent out on a versus 20. 20 hit battle Mm -hmm. and there was a lot of uproar in the streets who has a better catalog i'm curious for your thoughts and your thoughts as well put me in this one Uh, andrew lead it off i will lead it off with while i think 50 probably has more songs in the catalog the person that i enjoy listening to more is ti yeah like ti has some club bangers for me (laughs) but when i think about like but like what are the songs that I weren't lis- wasn't listening to on the album are those going to are people going to be like yeah that song or they going to be like what what did you make that in the kitchen with your grandma so I, I think he should have maybe shot a little bit lower I don't know why he was like let's go with 50 I feel like 50 has so many more hits no? I don't know I, go ahead Josh I'm curious I'm, what you I'm interested to see how this would go because T.I. definitely has the respect as a rapper mm-hmm. artist with a like years and years worth of catalog, 50 had a run, but 50 had crazy radio hits that everybody can like vibe out to to some degree. Also, I think if 50 does win, the bragging rights he's going to have over TI, oh we gosh. will never hear the end of it because 50's been catching L's for the past five years straight. <laughs> it started with Kanye. Yes. When him and yeah. Kanye had that thing and he got washed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It wasn't even close. He said he was going to retire if he. That's how confident he was he was going to beat Kanye. He said, I'm going to retire if Kanye beats me. He didn't retire. He didn't. He said, What's the album was it? Uh, graduation. You I'm looking gonna, it up? I'm, I'm about to. That but, was Kanye's album, bro. And 50 I, really. I I enjoy 50. I really enjoy TI. But I think 50 can pull this one out. That's what I think too. Even though I'm not the yep, biggest. Graduation. I don't want to see it happen though because of that. 50 is going to be every, in everybody's face about it for at least the next two years. And he's already just. He is a bully. Here's as the T.I. called him. <laughs> he's already a bully. T.I. has talked so much trash. He's a tiny man. And he's not afraid. No, he's he not. He has the hammers. Here's what I think. I think two things. One, to Josh's point, 50's buzz at that time was unlike any rapper yeah. we had seen in a while. It was like, the only one I can think of was like DMX's two albums in one year. You know the video DMX at that festival where it seems like every human on earth is there? <laughs> literally like a billion people there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, so DMX's run, I was like, this dude can do no wrong. And 50, when he came out, I remember being like, I've never heard anybody rap like this. Uh-huh. You know, like this is quite different. And he was like hit After in the hit. club, in the, the video. And he was with Eminem. It was like hit for hit. Here's where I think people forget. So Get Rich or Die, trying as an album, mm-hmm. probably a very strong album. Yes. But in these battles, people don't say, let me play this album, track one right. through 13. No, not right? at all. You play your hits. And I, obviously, there's probably f- off top five or six songs. There's no way T.I. can compete with mm-hmm. as far as these were bigger hits. Right. But just like in boxing, you don't you don't box for three or four rounds in a 20 round hit battle, especially if you go collab. Because remember when Luda and and Nelly uh, battled once Luda start playing his features. Oh, that, yeah. That, that was, was like, ridiculous. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like, oh, because I can't think of, and mind you, I'm not a, I'm not a super hip hop rap fan, mm-hmm. but a lot of the people who don't do that are the ones watching the battles. Yeah, I can't name you a lot of Fifty features. We're like, bro, Fifty really got off here. Like, it's Fifty songs that you really like from him. Ti was getting off on his songs, features, mm-hmm. pop stuff. Like he had my my mom, my my mother in law, Melissa's mom, saved McGee. Uh huh. I remember one day we got in her car. As she was re-examining her relationship with the Lord. Uh-huh. And she had all these gospel CDs and she had T.I.'s uh, CD in the back seat of her thing. I said, mother, she said, listen, man, hey, I can have whatever I like. And I was like, oh, oh, Mary Marshall. She's like, and that's what I think. Like with 20 rounds, I can't give you, I can't give you 15, uh, 50 songs. Mm-hmm. I can give you 15, 20 T.I. songs that I know and like and, and a lot of people know and like. And T.I. is still making good music now. I haven't heard That's anybody true. be like, 50, you know, you know I, I really like this 50 song. Like, to hear what, played what, me... What, what did, what, what did T.I. came out with? To hear played me uh, T.I.'s 
feature on Anderson Pack Free National Free, Free Nationals yeah. Oh, album. Okay. Yeah. He's still getting off. Mm. He st- I was like, oh, you still rapping good. I haven't heard a 50 verse in a while where I was like. Well, 50 over here producing shows and, and being an actor and whatnot. So I guess he just said, I ain't going to be doing no more uh, music. But I still don't think that's a good matchup, though. It's I feel not. like we're forgetting some stuff. Like, uh, I remember the first time I ever heard 50 Cent's voice was on a Missy Elliott's mm-hmm. Work It. And I was like, who is this man? And then he came out with Majestic. And then he kept coming out with more mm-hmm. and more. I just feel like T.I. Ti didn't have a run that powerful. Like he had like a couple hits. Yeah. Like yeah. I don't Somebody know. Somebody on Patreon said Fifty's last good song was the Power Theme song. They said <laughs> yes. this is a big rich. Come town. on, that song was hot. And when he tried to mess it up, putting that day oh! on that little baby lamb Trey, Trey songs, I was like, if you don't get this little shaky voice boy off of here and put Joe. Okay, sexy voice, Joe. God, Trey Songz and Baby Lamb. He was, <laughs> and we nobody wanted to hear all that shaking yeah. in his voice. And people were still look today. People were still looking for Ti features. Fifty had a feature on this recent album that just came out by Pop Smoke, but that's because Pop Smoke was a big fan of Fifty Cent. There's a lot of Fifty in Pop Smoke's cadence too. And, well, I mean, he respected him like he that was a big influence, and I'm sure that just took it from there. But I mean, I don't know how many albums that are coming out like, oh, I hope they collab with Fifty. No one's like looking for that also people don't like 50 he's mean he as a person the, yeah he he's is so the literal he's a bully. worst he's a bully yes. he is a bully like every day he reminds us like somebody shot him nine times we're like <laughs> what did you do sir? i mean 50 <laughs> you made a you lot of money the, off of that let's just move on yeah man. you are li- like i i he he bullying ja rule was one thing it was like, all right man but after a while i was like okay yeah uh, leave down. him alone but bullying the Tory Naughton. That was so mean. Oh, like, you, are you? That was are you so dumb? mean. It's like she's working on your show. I do, could she's, not she's making you money. It. Yeah, no, he's a bit of a. Yeah. He's definitely. He is a bully. He bullied his own son on the show. Yes, no, in real life. Let's <laughs> say his yes. real life was on. Like he'd be a daddy. He was like, "You ain't my son, are you?" Oh. He was like, "Yeah, I am your son." He's like, "You suck anyway." He's basically Kanan in, in real life. Oh, He's oh man, literally the worst ever. So you're not gonna be rooting for him. No, that's why I think my two, my three favorite battles, kind of no, in no particular order, they were all great. T, uh, T Pain and, and Lil John. Oh, that was the best because they just were like genuinely fans of each other. Yes, and I knew all the songs. They and they were, took. Mm. There's no T Pain song that doesn't put you in a good mood. Right. I mean, there was a time we were driving from Texas to Washington, uh, bringing Melissa's sister back, and T Pain had three songs on the radio, and any of those songs put me right back in the car. Like, great, I Ready. love you, Lil John. Same thing. Like, just such fun music. Yeah. And they really like. Remember this? Remember this? Love yeah. that. Erica Badu and Jill. Mm-hmm. It was just, it was a cocoa butter phenomenon. Yes. I yes. just felt so loved. You could smell the incense and coming then, <laughs> from the phone. Yes, yes, yes. Uh-huh. And then Kirk and Fred, because that's my music. Mm-hmm. That was the one I knew every single song. <laughs> You're like, I know and this. And I, I helped set that battle up. I was the first one who said they should battle. You said it. You did. Kirk commented and Don't said, watch. leave me alone. And then, oh, Swiss Beats, Timbalams, they come calling, <laughs> and now we can do it. But when Kev said it was they Leave Me Alone, we, me and my brother hosted our own Kirk and Fred. Mm-hmm. Kirk, if you want to apologize at any time, mm. you got my number. Exactly. You're welcome to say, Kev, it was you. Uh, Swiss Beats, he's, he's a very delicate ostrich. He looks, he looks so handsome. He'd make it a beast. What, Timberland. a delicate ostrich? Swiss Beats looked like the personification of a very smart ostrich. Why is he always wearing sunglasses, man? Uh. You don't mean to tell me if an ostrich turned into a human, you'd be like, that is Swiss Beats. <laughs> I don't know. He looks like Mr. a Beats human ostrich. This way. He looked like he, <laughs> when he run into the studio late. Look at him, Angel. Swiss Beats is a he is a master degree in music theology ostrich. ostrich. That man looks like a bird. He does look bird like. I didn't <laughs> know it was an man. ostrich. Who would what battle have you not seen that you would want to see? That's a great question. I know. I, I asked it. I asked it. No, oh, I'm saying I know it was oh, a great the, question. Oh, one, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a good one. Um I would like to see Beyonce and Rihanna. Why? Why even? would you start that? Why would you do that? Listen, this? there are a lot of pundits who argue that hit for hit, Rihanna has more hits 
than Beyonce. Why are you are doing you, are this you on Beyonce's away, internet right, right now? Right. Bro, are you taking bonus? away? Are you taking away Destiny's Child? Uh, taking music? away Destiny's Child. Oh well, I'm that's talking, not fair. That's, yeah, you, why is it not fair? Because that's album for album, have they not released the same amount of albums? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how many Rihanna Let's has released. Let's look it up. You're supposed to be the resident beehive. Why are you looking I up? I said, I don't know how many Rihanna has released. Okay. That's what look I'm it up. saying. And, I, and I, while you're doing that, because my feet are hurting, because I don't have the right socks on, I left my feature socks at home, and those are the best socks. Oh, those are the best. You know what I hate, John? When my sock is falling down in my shoe, I can't even function. I can't be funny. I'm like jokes. I can't say them. I can't have a little thread in my sock. I can't have a loose sock. I can't have none of that. To perform at your best, you need to feel your best from head to toe. Features has solely focused on engineering innovative, high-performance socks for almost 20 years. They created a sock with a custom-like fit to prevent issues with conventional socks. No more bunching, slipping, friction, and blisters. Multiple cushion levels from ultralight to max cushioning for unsurpassed performance. Okay? I have these socks I feel like I am faster and I can dunk a basketball when I'm wearing them. I don't have to worry about my socks. I have some other socks that are too tight or too loose. And I just don't want to think about my socks. I want my socks to be comfort, a good fit, so I can be the best version of my life that day. Features are engineered to help you achieve your best every day, whether you're working out or on the go. Targeted compression acts like a hug around the arch of your foot, keeping the sock in place and preventing it from bunching, slipping, or sliding down into your shoe. Work out harder, recover faster, get stronger, run faster, and look great doing it. Features are so durable and long-lasting that if you're unsatisfied at any time, they'll give you a replacement pair. No questions asked. That's right. A lifetime guarantee. See why Features has quickly become the number one running sock in America. For listeners of Kevin on Stage, here's the thing. You can receive $10 off your first pair of Features by going to Features.com and using my code RR. RR. That's $10 off your first pair when you go to F E E T U R E S dot com and enter promo code R R at uh, checkout. Again, that's features.com and use my code R R to get ten dollars off your first pair of features. Oh, features like feet. Yeah. yeah. I like it. I like you it. get it. Okay, so how many? Rihanna angels? has eight, Beyonce solo wise has six. Okay, so and Destiny's Child had how many? Five. Like four? Five? Yeah. So when Fred Hammond went against Kirk Franklin, mm-hmm. Fred Hammond used Solo records and and commissioned records. Yeah. Okay. Kirk also oh, had yeah. Yo, I'm thinking of Rihanna's uh, Rihanna's feature game, man. Oh yeah, she was featured on a lot of stuff. She's featured on a lot of stuff. There was she a time in my life from crazy. from probably Umbrella to maybe two years ago. You always heard her Rihanna on the was always on the radio mm-hmm. so let's say beyonce can use destiny's child mm-hmm. and then rihanna can use her her features and collaborations i don't know i don't i'm not gonna say where you stand okay because i'm like i don't even know where you're going with this question with and why you even it should be beyonce now versus beyonce before <laughs> that would be the verses i would want to see beyonce pre <laughs> being cheated on by jay-z to beyonce now a mother of twins m- making her ends you know what i'm saying that's what i want to see like this whole i mean no no shade to rihanna but i don't even know why you're trying to bring her into this equation you when, don't think it's so hard to have this discussion with you, Angel. It would right. be tough. I don't even know why you're trying. Like, you think I'm going to really be like, okay, yeah. Do you so- even see? No. <laughs> How about that? No to the whole question. No. Mel is just like this. We had this discussion in our group chat. Somebody had picked out 20 songs from each, and Mel was like, these are dumb Beyonce songs to pick. You should let me pick up. Yeah. Okay, Angel. We could do Beyonce Destiny's Child and Beyonce Without Destiny's Child. Yeah. Bills, <laughs> Bills, Bills up against uh, to the left, to the left. Who would win? We don't know. That's a good one. Beyonce is coming out the winner regardless. Here's Come on. I, can, I, can I just say something? Here, Let me just say something. Say it. Kid. And I don't listen to... I. Full disclosure, I I haven't listened to Rihanna album straight through. Mm-hmm. I feel like the radio songs were, and I feel like I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I like her music. I like Rihanna as a person. And Jade was like, Rihanna is as good in person as advertised. Mm-hmm. Even better. And my homies who play for Beyonce or sing with her are like, she's good too. So personalities, even, she seems to be, they both seem to be better than advertised. Right? Here's what is interesting to me. What? I've listened to Beyonce's albums. What I really like about Beyonce post um my two favorite album my favorite album from Beyonce is Lemonade. Mm-hmm. Uh and then the second is um Self Titled. Mm-hmm. Cuz I feel like once Jay-Z caused her pain, her writing changed. 
Mm-hmm. Before it was like a lot of pop and fun music mm-hmm. and anthems. Mm-hmm. Destiny's Child, very similar, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Self-titled and Lemonade was like, oh, let me get into my Adele, my mm-hmm. Mary J. Blige. Let me tell, like, Beyonce, like, taking the ring off. Yeah. Throwing it at the camera. You going to lose your wife, boy. Yeah. I was like, was I amazing. got in trouble. Yeah. I was like, I didn't cheat. I don't know if no Becky's. It was amazing. Good hair, poor hair. Mm. Um, Beyonce's marketing. Yeah. No one, no one has done. Even <laughs> artists as big as her or near haven't no even one. tried. She actually started the surprise drop wave, didn't she? Didn't and she? people failed trying to do oh, that yeah. miserably because they're not Beyonce. I remember when she did it. I was sitting in my living room. I said, "What did she do? What?" My girlfriend was at her concert in Kentucky, and she dropped the album while she was on stage. I remember that. Huh? And that became. All of a sudden, you start seeing that on Instagram mm-hmm. and Twitter, and then it was the wait. There's 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 music videos. Yeah, oh, every song has a music video. Every song. And it wasn't. It was uh, drunk in love. She had the wet. We be all right. Yeah. Listen, I don't understand why. Why, Kev? Why you would okay, even want to bring Rihanna why. into listen, this? Why? Listen, listen. Tell me. Let's take lemonade. If you're going to hit for hit battle, mm-hmm. how many songs are you choosing off lemonade? Maybe formation. Those songs work well as that piece of work. In a hit battle, it's the same 50 Cent issue where you have great albums, but when you pull the hits out, does that go with like Rihanna, who purposely was making radio music, and Beyonce, who was purposely like, I'm not making radio music. Do you think that will be conveyed in a hit for hit battle where you can't listen to the whole album? Yes. <laughs> sorry. I ain't sorry. Sorry. Anti. I ain't sorry. That, okay. But, but what? that wasn't a radio smash. That's an album smash. It goes great with the theme, but it wasn't a radio smash. It smashed everywhere. Do you hear me? Hold up. They don't love you like I love you. I like Slow them. down. That was a hit. <laughs> was not a it, hit. Listen, she went over to country. She said, uh, what was she uh, talking about? Daddy, My uh, daddy. I can't even remember right now. <laughs> country folk was singing it. I, Kev, get, get, listen. All I'm trying to say is, is that Rihanna's great, and if we want to do a Rihanna and Beyonce competition, let's do it with clothing lines. Then Rihanna will win. Rihanna hands down. You don't, you don't believe in the house of Darion? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to shake your Darion with your Darion? What shake happened to house? With a house of Beyonce Darion. closed house of Darion with the. Like, that house went into foreclosure. Do you hear me? <laughs> that, that house, house went upside down. Went, <laughs> yes, honey. The, the bank called in that loan. But Rihanna, listen, ah. when it comes to empower, empires, Rihanna with Fenty and with uh, uh, F- uh, Savage Fenty. The, the Savage Fenty is a blessing. <laughs> Savage Fenty All is that. a blessing. Uh, I, I'd love to see it because I would. It, and this is the other thing. When you're an artist of that caliber, I feel like it's actually harder for artists like Rihanna and, and uh, Beyonce because they have so much music. Yeah. And their careers are so long. Beyonce been famous since I was like 14. Yeah. Since like I was in high school. Consistently with Destiny's Child. Like mm-hmm. she's part of 90s R&B. Yeah. There was a solo career where people really thought in the industry that Ashanti would have a better career than her. And that wasn't even a polarizing thought at the time mm-hmm. that was only polarizing looking back yeah. you know that article didn't make way people really did not like somebody heard crazy in love at the record label was like ah, i don't know if that's a hit oh single and i'm like gosh. how did you hear that i and think i don't know if that's a hit what did you hear i don't know what they heard because i remember driving my ford escort that was on its way out and that song came on the radio and i lost my mind did that song put gas in your car yes it did it coasted all the way up into that shell it wasn't no shell i'm sure it was some off brand but i'm gonna <laughs> them horns beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Look it's the changed. joy of Beyonce. She, Beyonce gives age. <laughs> she does. She brings me so much joy. But I, I actually, I don't even want her to be bothered with these verses. Okay, so she's not even who I would pull out. I want Usher, and I don't know who else. I've saw. I think you all did, or somebody me and did. Doughboy did Usher versus Chris Brown. Yeah, and I don't know if those are the two that I would want to do. Who else can even go with Usher? Though you're right, though you're right because he's in his own lane in that thing, like. He is the, you know who could go with him? Who? R. Kelly. We <laughs> couldn't do it, and yeah. I'm against it, but song for song, impact wise, but we yeah. hate R. Kelly. Yeah. But that's the only person I can, like, Chris Brown, they, their genres are, are, are different. Like, yeah. there's a lot of 19 year olds on that thing that was like Chris Brown all day because he's made music for them. But mm-hmm. when I, we actually did it, 
Usher, he just he just Usher has so much more. The He's same thing as Beyonce. He'd been famous actually before Beyonce. Uh-huh. Usher came on my radar. Um, but he's been around so long. Yeah. If Brandy had more hits, I would put Usher against Brandy. But she kind of phased out for a second. And, but she has one of those classic, like that Full Moon album mm-hmm. is the way people talk about confess, especially people in the music industry. Yeah. That Full Moon album is like the vocal Bible yeah. to people. That's a good one. I right. like I like Brandy versus Usher. Come on. See? See? I like Brandy versus Usher. They listen. They ain't got nothing to do. They both need to come on out and do this. They ain't got. I mean, well, he's in Atlanta, so he might be a club compound. But when he gets home and washes that COVID off of him, talk to us, Usher. Now, Brandy versus Usher will be a good one. I'm gonna talk to Swiss. Th- yeah, you you gonna talk to the ostrich after you didn't call it? Hey ostrich? Siri, call an ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> She said, do you mean Swiss beans? Ooh, Justin Timberlake versus Usher? Justin Timberlake versus Usher? I don't know. I don't know. think Justin Timberlake can go deep with Usher. He can't. Because the NSYNC, I, can, I don't but care. 20, but 20, oh, no, though. I love you NSYNC. only need 20. I don't 20. think Justin has 20 songs to go nowhere with Usher. He, it, and I love the, the 2020 experience as a whole album. But I don't give you 20 JT songs to go with Justified Usher. Justified was Raymond, a fantastic album. Uh-huh. U.S. H-E-R-R-A Y-M-O-N-D. Let me tell you what you want to do with I'm me. I'm not sure. You gotta go to the So you, you, gotta go, you, gotta go, so you throw it out, NC? You're not gonna be go. Bye, bye, bye. I don't care. Yo ho go. Bye. I could, go. You throw an NSYNC song in the battle, you lose the whole thing. Disqualification. I don't care about NSYNC. You don't understand. There were black girls that loved Justin Timberlake because he thought he was black for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Timberlake better thank his lucky stars for Timberland. Because oh, yeah. without him, he would be in sync's lead singer who shouldn't have went solo. Timbaland, Future Sex Love Sounds, Justified. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, those two. I don't know if he did 2020 Experience. But you can't, it's unfair to separate them because that that's who we made the music with. Well, because he was smart. He was like, Timbaland, underneath my voice, is mm-hmm. going to be fire. I mean, he's smart. I'm, I'm he's, telling you, I don't think. He don't do nothing better than Usher, though. He don't sing. He don't dance. No. He don't. No, make albums. He don't yeah, have he no hidden things. He d- better than Usher Raymond the I Fourth. I did not say better than Usher. He, did, but he, he don't dances do nothing well. Than- he dances well. Maybe not. Well, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not he doesn't dance better than Usher at his prime. That I'll give you. But I saw Usher at one performance. <laughs> I see this one video. You see that? I was like, like, oh, baby, it's time to get back on. Just play the drum set. We'll love that. Um, uh, See, I love Justin Timberlake. That was my wife. Do you love him more than Usher if you do your anti black? No. (laughs) I don't love him more than Usher. 20 songs, Angel. You know Justin Timberlake does not have 20. Hits. I believe he has maybe just about 20 though. I think though. he has 20 oh, hits. Nice. I do think he has 20 hits. 20? 20. Yeah. How? He can pull at least at least 3 per album. That were smash hits like Usher had sm- Usher has you're, in your bones music. You're right. Confessions is in my bones. You're right. Usher's hits are bigger than Justin's if you think about the impact on the black community. Which is what I'm saying. Yes, yes. That's who's gonna be watching the verses. No, if Usher, if not Usher, if uh, Justin show up, then white girls is coming too. I don't want them. They coming. And he didn't apologize to Janet. Good enough for me. And no, so I he know. can stay out. You right. He ripped that nipple off and was like, "Psych." Her whole nipple. And he, he I mean, not the nipple <laughs> off, but the, the cover? he ripped the cover off and you then right. didn't face no consequences. You right. You Even right. Even he did, he ain't going with Usher. And I stand. That's a hill I'll die on. <laughs> he probably lose. I would still. He, he would, would lose. lose. He would he lose, would lose, but it would but still be a good it competition. Would be, I to watch. would enjoy to watch it. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm not picking. Yeah, oh, I would enjoy over it. Usher. So, so wait a minute, you going this hard for Usher? But when it's Beyonce, when it's a black woman, you just ready to drag her through the black real. woman. But you wanted to drag them I together. Drag you wanted. Her. You were like, <laughs> oh, you really think Angel? But oh, Usher Do Raymond, you, I could have this conversation with you the <laughs> clap and whatnot. And you saying he can't compete against uh, I'm not saying JT? That. I'm saying Rihanna was making, I want to make hits music. I want to make radio hits. Beyonce d- decidedly decided, I don't care about that, mm-hmm. which I respect. Ar- artistically, I-, I want you go back to what I said. Uh-huh. I enjoy those. A- Lemonade, actually, low key, probably one of my favorite albums ever, especially it was just watching her grow mm-hmm. and hearing that piece of art. I was like, this is, this is as good as you. It was like the equivalent of her winning the MVP 
uh, regular season finals MVP and sweeping her opponent. Like yeah. no one was on her level. I don't think any entertainers on her level. No. I'm just saying for a 20 hit battle, Rihanna was like, I'm going to make like Drake, like whether I like Drake or not, he is obviously has more hits than a lot of my favorite rappers. Mm -hmm. He might like, I like Kendrick more than Drake, but if he was going to do a battle, I don't know yeah. if Kendrick could beat Drake because people listen to the pop hits. They I listen to rap differently. That's yeah. why I like it. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. Kendrick's albums are best played in order. And Beyonce's no songs can be played however they want to be, and they'll still be radio hits. Is what Good I'm Kid, trying to Mad get. Good Kid, Mad City doesn't translate as well in a battle as it does as a solo piece of album work. Okay, that's all I'm saying about Beyonce. Is I feel like she has decided I'm going to make great albums mm -hmm. that are purposeful. They have the music. She hasn't decided I'm going to make radio hit singles. And I feel like Rihanna was like, no, I'm going to be a pop star and make pop star Rihanna music. Rihanna stopped making music a long time ago. So. I love that about her, though. <laughs> I, remember when we was coming up, it was not common for artists to make an album every year. No. You made one. You toured it. After the tour, it was, what, a two-year process? Yeah. Then you took some time off. And then it was like, you came back. And I was like, oh. Yeah. But, but she now it's like. Is we, she coming back? Rihanna? Yeah. I don't think I don't so. Think I so. don't think so What does she either. have to, to gain? There is no reason for her, in my opinion, to be like, okay, now I want to drop an album. At this point, she's making way more money off of everything else that she's doing All outside she can of do music. All she do is disappoint. But I would think you would want to, if it, if it was a part of your heart, you would want to... That might be your mistake. Because it's not a part of a lot. She is. was just A like, lot of musicians don't like the music industry. True, and she might be done with the industry part of it. She might still like to make music, but then just drop us. Then, then don't make no money. Just drop a couple of songs. But Ooh. she's too big. Everything, anything she drops is gonna be microscoped, looked in, thought pieced up. Wasn't as good as this. Like, she, I, if I were her, I'd be like, mm, I'm not giving y'all nothing. Then, then she needs to go up against somebody like Barbara Streisand, somebody who's not making music. She should not be you going mean Beyonce up against or Rihanna. <laughs> Rihanna, someone who has stopped making who music. Who do you think could go against Beyonce and you feel like, okay, this might actually be fair? I told you. Kev, do you think I'm not serious? I am serious. Beyonce could go against Sasha Fierce. Those two. <laughs> put them on either side. Bring her to the table like Jada go have to bring herself in front of the mirror and Beyonce <laughs> could talk to herself in different color wigs. I don't, I, I don't think there's anybody that has done what she's done in music while there are people who have had hits bigger than her but like over the span of time i just don't i don't think who it sold be. more rihanna or beyonce it depends i think if you it, no well, let me see i want to say it depends on if you add destiny's child or not who sold more who sold more well if you consider destiny's child she probably she probably outsells rihanna i would just guess i mean I didn't know Rihanna, Rihanna was such a big deal. Let me let's just You be, did it? Mm -mm, Is no. it just Beyonce or die for you? Uh yeah. I'll die on that hill. That's <laughs> the hill I'll be on. Okay? With blue ivy trees. It says Rihanna has sold more. Beyond Rihanna but has? I, yeah, but I don't but know. But they just compare it without Destiny Child? I'm assuming so. Uh, but I don't think you can take people you can't take Destiny Child out of Beyonce that's part of her career no. it's, it's just like the, the same with that's the same thing with Justin and NSYNC though right I, I personally don't care about NSYNC though like I, I acknowledge NSYNC had hits yes. but if, if you played me any of Usher's song the worst song on Confessions and you played me any NSYNC song I would dirty pop you can't stop talking about that dirty pop Ah, is that a real song? Yeah, come on, Josh. <laughs> we do the same for you. And I'm and animosity. Yes, that was the that was me, the church girl, listening to that. I was like, Dirty yeah. pop. Yeah, because they were doing dirty pop music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about Mariah Carey, Beyonce? I mean, Mariah Carey has tons of stuff. She's got classics. She had the number one song until Lil Nas. Yeah, she has classics. She wrote a new Christmas song. And it is a I didn't even know. I, right. I thought that Man. for sure was a remix. She's like, no, nah, I just did that. Yeah. Do you think Mariah has anything with Beyonce? Hit it, for hit? This is what I'll say. Because it, it hits. What, what I'm trying to say is their hits hit differently. Mm -hmm. Mariah made classics. I would. This is one thing I'll say about Beyonce. I don't know if any of any of her songs feel like 
classics. Hmm. And what I mean by is the songs that, let me think. Yeah, interesting. Tell me more. Tell me more, Angel. Yeah, when I mean classic, I mean like old, dusty, pull it out classic. Mm. Beyonce doesn't have those. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think, does she? I'm trying to think of a song that Single makes ladies? me. Single ladies? I guess so, but I, that, that's not what I mean by Mariah Carey. You like, mean like butterfly? Yeah, type. like like. And no, but like Mariah Carey had those like nineteen nineties R and B ballads. Those are the things that mm. I feel like went out of like style by the time Beyonce. Nobody wanted just a long lo- love song that you sang really hard and loud, like a Deborah Cox song. Those oh, kind of went. Man. Yeah. But Mariah has those. Yeah. That's what Beyonce doesn't have in her repertoire because it wasn't a, like Me, Myself, and I is not one of those hard ballads like a Mariah Carey song. Yeah. But I would still be going for Beyonce. Of course. You, well, obviously. Uh, I mean, I just, I'm just saying they hit differently. Not that one hits better than the other. They just sit in two, such two separate, like, uh, time periods that it's hard to judge them against that's each other. all I can expect from you about Beyonce in anything that's not completely positive the, I know that probably hurt you to even no 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 no, no 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 Beyonce songs are amazing but like when I think of what we consider to be classic songs of today like when I think of like Whitney Houston music I uh, uh I believe the children of the future mm-hmm. like I don't know Beyonce has that song yeah does she I don't think so. I don't think she has that. I don't song know. Yet. It's, that's kind of hard to classify because Mariah's career. I don't even remember a time in my life where Mariah Carey was. Like, I remember when Destiny's Child came out, mm-hmm. like and Usher came out. Mariah Carey was making music. From all my memories, she was already on mm-hmm. the radio. It's like Boyz II Men. They was just like mm-hmm. kind of all already around. So it's kind of hard to to separate. Yeah. So that's interesting. Yeah, I somebody said dangerously in love. That still feels so different than like the songs that what was that song that Mariah Carey came out with? Uh the song that she was known for, something about love where she was hitting all those whistle tones. We belong together? No, no, that was that's got too much. It this was a slow slow song. It's not that one? No, y'all doing all these fast songs. What was the Mariah Carey slow song? That uh, vision of love. Uh, thank you. Shots I had a vision of love. Like I don't feel like Beyonce doesn't have that. <sighs> Not in the way that that Mariah Carey's was, but people weren't making music like that when Beyonce came out. Nobody. So was is Beyonce's like music that. aging well? Yeah, absolutely. It's aging well. I, you just <laughs> It's not old and dusty. No. What 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 are y'all trying to what no, point y'all I think? Just, I, I just feel I like you kind of anything you was. I actually think Beyonce's music is aging fine. I think it's I aging think fine. Everything Hill. Destiny Child, like you don't when you listen to Beyonce's music, it doesn't feel dated. Mm-hmm. You know, like Ludacris, I feel like he he's didn't age well. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like that flow type. He he raps great. Don't don't get me wrong, but that flow type was such a specific type, and he kind of stuck. Like Rev Run, I remember Rev Run was on a BT oh. cipher, and I was like, you oh. can't do that. Oh, Rap doesn't sound like that no more. Yeah, he said, "Yeah." It's not like you have an asthma attack. That's what he sounds like. Rev, did you run? Because I was like, bro, this is like. But you, most people don't like rap that existed prior to them. Right. You know what I mean? Like Curtis Blow and Sugar Hill Gang, we was not listening to that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We The rap, like uh, Naughty by Nature, people who were releasing music, we was like, yeah, yeah. we like. And that's why my, my nieces and nephews, it's like 21 Savage, Lil Uzi, uh, they like not the Baby or Lil they Baby. Uh-huh. Yeah, they they love it. They you know? like, <laughs> we love this mumbleness. Yeah. 50s music didn't age well either. I would I, argue, I would argue a lot of that. Yeah. People ain't revisiting 50s music right like that i don't i don't think um uh somebody said anita baker versus sade That's as a fair battle sade is the greatest living female oh yeah oh now she's alive josh what are you, talking you know about? josh thought sade was dead i did oh, not he said god rest I her did soul not. <laughs> I thought we were talking Shade about like, Aaliyah. I thought we were talking about Aaliyah. How? That's it. That's because it. Because he is 11 years old. How did he know? I'm not that big of a Sade fan. Tony Baker? I don't care about what Tony Baker said. This is the Tony Baker ain't here, so skiddity pat pat on somewhere else. <laughs> I, I'm not that. <laughs> I'm not that big of a Sade fan. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Sade, uh, with her beautiful, beautiful voice, uh, uh, makes me want to take a nap. 
a lot of times. This is happening. And it hurts like brand new shoes. It's just like, okay, well, I'm going to lay down, Sade, until you finish this. <laughs> I'm not tired. But you know what? I mean, I'm, I wasn't tired, but uh, as, you, as you continue uh, on. Yes. I mean, I think Sade has a beautiful voice. I'm just not beautiful. into Beautiful. I'm not into her like music catalog like that. But Anita? Anita? Girl, what you talking? <laughs> Woo! Anita got a song about me, okay? What is she? Angel, come on! Did she call you up on stage at any time in a concert? Well, no, because I didn't get her attention by not knowing about her and then getting called out. That wasn't out. what got her attention. <laughs> oh, this is, reminds me of God's favor on my life. Tell, this tell is Anita Baker story. Have you heard this? I, okay, so here's how it goes. I so Wasn't much. aware of Anita Baker throughout my life. Couldn't listen to anything but gospel music. I know you haven't heard this. Josh has never heard this. People listening probably first time as well. First time. Spice Adams used to put her So I heard that Come on Melissa was playing it Cleaning up uh -huh. Apparently this happened In black households All across America uh -huh. Except mine Where mm. anything that wasn't gospel Was the devil mm. No in between And I said Oh that's that Spice Adams song My wife Whom I love Grabbed me Threw me under the bus You don't know Anita Baker I was like mm, Not sure Beep 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 Facebook.com just found out my husband don't know need a makeup BBD post. Blacks from all across God's green earth woke up like the Lion King. They was like, <laughs> Kev doesn't know Anita Baker yeah. from far and wide. They yeah. attacked me. Yeah. Oh, you're not black. You probably didn't listen because you did a fucking pie. Oh, we never liked you anyway. You're not even funny. Oh, they said everything about me, Angel. So I said, you know what? Let me rectify that for my community. Uh. Do my research. I'm on tour a lot, flying a lot. Mm. Download her greatest hits. Download the Rapture album. Get, you know, familiar with all the music. Oh, yeah. I mm -hmm. like it. I said, you know what? She's doing a farewell concert series. Me and my wife, we going to go see her in person. Because all the Anita Baker fans who love her never went and saw her in concert. I thought we all did. Turns out we didn't. So I go to D.C. I buy my ticket. You know, I'm at the back of the front. You know, I ain't all the way at the front because, mm. you know, people, them, Nita Baker fans, they got long money. I said, I can't get that close. <laughs> mm. But I'm at the back of the front. She says, Kev, is that Kev on, Kevin Fresh in the audience? Stand up, baby. I need a Baker call me baby. Oh, yeah. Call me baby. Mm. I stood up. She said, I love what you're doing, young man. You're doing what I do in the music industry. You stand up with what you believe in, touring on your own. I can respect that. See, that's what I'm doing, man. See you backstage. I said, what you talking, auntie? Go backstage. Take me a picture with her. Me, Liz, Israel, Holden, Adrian, Ballon. I said, man, this is amazing. I thought the blacks would love me for that. Oh, jealousy is an evil spirit. Is that what you call it? Is it jealousy? Jealousy is, is jealousy? an evil spirit. The blacks was not. You got to meet her. You didn't even know. You didn't. We grew up with her. Oh, why? You know what the Bible says about that? What does it say, oh, Kevin? Oh, see what happens in the Bible. You know the prodigal son. The prodigal son. His brother ran away, and he went out and lived that life. And he came back. Was his brother happy for him? Oh, look at you, led him back into and this. I never left. I always got to. What's this whole thing that you, you got a party for him? You slayed the fatted calf for him. Mm. But for me, who never left, you could be nothing. The daddy said, "Man, what's what's for you is for you." But my son has come back. See, whether you learn about Jesus as a child come or on. the day before you die, come on, Kev. You going to heaven. If you believe, if you accept. See, y'all mad because I accept Jesus in my heart <laughs> late in life. And y'all was out there, you know, being saved your whole life. I was twerking and doing drugs, and I get the same Jesus. You are so wrong. <laughs> You are just so wrong, and you gonna get it. <laughs> you are That's going. what people always want me you to. What y'all want to happen to me? I and Nina already loved. She I knows I didn't know about it. She said it's okay. That's how she knew about you. She was Tony like, "Who Baker. is this child that don't know about me?" That's how she found out about you, Kev. She was like, "Who is this baby? Oh, he does chores. Oh, oh, look at him. He's in my audience." That's how she knew about you because hey. you didn't know about her. She said, you know what, as long as you know now, baby. And that's twice she called me baby. Well, yeah, you know, it you must have been the cologne tickets. that I was wearing because of Hawthorne. Oh, that cologne. Maybe she smelled it and said, come backstage. With you <laughs> get on my nerves. Uh. Listen, I love cologne. You know, I love to smell good. I like to spritz spritz. I like to walk into my season. I mean, I don't, I don't shimmy like that. It wasn't really manly. I didn't like that, <laughs> I didn't like you that did at all. You did it already. I walk in it. Let me look at the playback on the live. <laughs> Like, yeah, it didn't come across well. It didn't come across well. 
but I like to smell good and stuff, you know. But I don't like to go figure out what's a good smell, uh-huh. you know. I don't. I'm not like to hear. To hear is like this. You got this. Oh, this is man. and this is an oaky smell. This is a wood. I don't. I need a little bit more help than that. Uh-huh. And this is where Hawthorne comes in, man. I say, hey, man, I want to smell good. Send me some options. And they say, oh yeah, Kev, we got you. They sent me some stuff. <laughs> sprayed it on my wrist. Sprayed it on my neck. Melissa said. <laughs> Pheromones? <laughs> oh my God! Pheromone. Get in that bed, man! Oh, you smelling good? It's not just deodorant now. You got you got something else going on here. Mm-hmm. So here's what I like about it: you take a two minute quiz. Mm-hmm. Okay, they tell you the colognes that are best for you. You get to try it off. One for work, one for play. Totally risk free with mm-hmm. shipping and free returns. Check out Hawthorne at Hawthorne.co. That's Hawthorne with an E, Angel, and use my promo code SK to get 10% off your first purchase. That's H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N-E.co and use my code SK to get 10% off your first purchase. Hawthorne.co, promo code SK. And that's for stage crew. SK. SK. Yeah. Come on, stage crew, get the old promo codes looking guy. I done sent it over. I said, man, give me, give me the stage crew uh I promo love code. it because I surely was like, smelly cam? What is this SK? <laughs> Yeah, I was like, man, we got to do this over and I'm going to have to edit it. Oh, I was like, what is happening? Now, we were talking about um, Beyonce. Yes, this right? is what I want to talk about. Let me tell you what's crazy. Mm. This K.W. Miller for Congress has a, a Beyonce conspiracy theory that's going to blow your mind. No. Oh. This tweet, Josh, if you don't mind placing it here. You want me to read it? Read it, Angel. I know it hurts your soul. Just read the whole thing, Angel. Set it all up. Okay, so this man who is literally running for Congress in Florida, he says, Beyonce is not even African American. She's faking this for exposure. Her real name is Anne Marie Lastrassi. She is Italian. This is all a part of the Soros deep state agenda for the Black Lives Matter movement. Beyonce, you're on notice. Hashtag great awakening. Great, excuse me, great awakening. Hashtag Q Anon. And then hashtag WWG1GWA Lord. And hashtag Trump 2020. And then he keeps going. He keep, oh, he keeps going, Angel. He, he's not done. Uh, a man responds to him, Danny. He says, if they let Aaliyah live, Beyonce would be nowhere where she is now. Suspicious. Mm. And then he responds, who was the pilot? Hmm. The same year as JFK Jr.'s plane crash. Hashtag great awakening. And then he comes for auntie. Okay, he's not done. He says, what does deep state operative Patty LaBelle know about the secret plan to reinstall Barack Obama as POTUS. Deep state operative Patty LaBelle. Like, how does Patty get into this? Oh, oh, this is the best Beyonce tweet of, of all. He says, looking more into Beyonce's coded globalist messaging. Who is Becky with the good hair who she encourages people to call while apologizing because it's in the song. Sorry. Oh, yes. Oh, a Soros operative. Interesting. All goes through London. And then the last thing that he said that just blessed my soul. He said, Jill Biden is a deep state operative who is handling Joe Biden or whatever clone or robot is being called Joe Biden currently at the moment. Y'all, mental illness is real, okay? It is real and it's running rampant in these streets, all right? (laughs) Patty LaBelle. Deep state operative Patty (laughs) LaBelle. What is in those pies? (laughs) Right. Because the blacks was eating them up like a hot cake two, three years ago. What did deep state operative Patty LaBelle ba- put in Patty's <laughs> pies? Because they were every it was a, it was pandemonium, pandemonium for a whole holiday season. What did she do? This thing that she does when she sings somewhere <laughs> that's a sign that the eagle has landed over the <laughs> like who? Patty LaBelle? Like out of all the black folk you could pull out to be like as a part of like some deep state operative and white folk always try to take Beyonce from us how you gonna make her Italian Anna Marie Lestrasi how you gonna make her Italian how you do that they just always they wanna take her from us I just 
And then Joe Biden is a robot that I could believe. I was like, well, <laughs> sir. Yeah, he might Joe be. Joe Biden just never looks like he wants to be there. I know, but he's that's why I so many him. speeches where he's just like, you know, we're going to win. I just. <laughs> This thing is long. It's, everything is longer than I thought it was yes. going to be. I just, I kind of thought I was going to be done with this already. Right. Did I win or did I lose? Not, they haven't voted? We haven't. It's, it's oh not November God. yet? Barack used to have to do all this. I was just smiling. I was thumbs guy. I was smiling. Smiling thumbs guy, man. Brushed my white hair back and that's all I Can had to do. Can you imagine Joe winning like I won? Oh, my God. <laughs> Four years? I'm 77. <laughs> we got, it's two years. Just so you know, that's what he's going to say. You're only getting two I out of me. I thought this was senator. <laughs> I thought I was running for senator. A congressional seat. You mean I got to run? Ooh. Oh. Yeah, I just want to be cool. <laughs> Uncle Joe. You know, I just, I, listen, Obama took all the stuff. Remember Tan Suit? I wouldn't even buy him during Tan Suit Mageddon. I wasn't buy him during Tan Suit Mageddon. I'm this guy. He's like, yeah, he definitely, Joe is definitely, the battery is running out on him. Right. They need to put some energizer in his back because he is Joe tired. Joe Biden look like your kids when they need a nap and they're just going through the motions playing. They're just like, I just. Uh, all right. Uh, 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 I got to talk to the black people again. Y'all not just going to vote for me? What other choice y'all got? Y'all really need me to talk really to y'all? He said that. Remember he said that to Charlamagne? He slipped up and like, what, what are we talking about? <laughs> what, are, what are we doing here? What else do y'all have? <laughs> like, y'all don't have any other options. Who are you going to vote for? You can vote for Anna Marie, Anna Marie Lestrasi. Lestrasi. <laughs> this man, I watched one of his videos. I Did you? Him. Yes. This man is crazy. He's like, when I show up, no, I'm going to handle business. I was like, oh my, this man is real. He is real. And he does a lot of talking to the black community. Does he? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, you you don't understand what they're doing to the black community. Getting them riled up when the Democrats don't care about you. We do. <laughs> Vote for me, Congress, Florida, 18th District. <laughs> I'm like, where did they find this man? And who started his Twitter account? Who uh, did it? The thing that's funny about it, Beyonce, I'm used to. She is a, you want to get clout. Talk about me. Talk about Beyonce. In any shape or form, people will always pay attention. Mm-hmm. Patty LaBelle That's a new one. is not usually brought into the conversation like, who else do they love? Yeah. So. Who made the pies? That, remember a couple years ago, the guy was singing about her. People was buying it. It was sold out. Patty LaBelle. Patty LaBelle. We've really got to go and put some operatives into the pie industry <laughs> right. and see just exactly what Patty had what? in the pies. Because that man, Patty Pies was like crap. Uh, I, if they, oh Which no. the government also gave to the black community. Right. Another I, conversation for another day. <laughs> but I, I'm going to have to re- re- revert to her, re- refer to her as deep state operative Patty LaBelle. Like, I just, it's just the most random person oh. that they, they're going to be like, uh, uh, Fantasia, her too. <laughs> she is a, she is a training under deep state operative Patty LaBelle. Like, Patty has done nothing to anybody. She's just singing the songs. You know what songs. Patty LaBelle did, Angel? What Josh, is- I'm sorry. You're going to have to put this up right here. Patty LaBelle's, Patty LaBelle's video, Where Are My Background Singers? Uh-huh. Where she was singing. Have you seen this? I don't know. This Christmas thing where she was singing in the background. She didn't know the words oh, to the song. and they That is a true black woman. Angel, let me give you some joy. I think I might have seen this. I Angel. think I might have. This is my favorite video. Yes. I can't even wait till Christmas. <laughs> Deep State Operative, Patty LaBelle. Where my baby don't sing it. Woo! <laughs> well, baby, baby, and, and it's the wrong words on the cue cards. I don't know the song. This. <laughs> I'm going to have that all I can. Yes. <laughs> because I don't have the right words and I have my baby. That's a diva. They're still not there. Presents and cards are here. My world is filled with cheering you. That's a professional. Oh That's Angel. how she could be when a deep state said, Oh my god. <laughs> The song, the words are wrong on the cue card. She's, oh my! I'm still out here by myself. 
But listen, never missed a note. Didn't she never will. She sang the song and the trouble at the same time. <laughs> Only deep state operatives have the ability and right. then had the pie recipe the whole time. You right. You right. Patty has such a great history on the internet. I don't know if you saw the video of the lady with the cupcake thing. She was like, "Well, you don't want to eat the paper." And Patty was like, "Did you think I was going to Am I? She's your auntie. I'm, do I look she like I'm going to eat the paper? So black, like she's so black. <laughs> that is how I'm like deep state operative. We could read that on her face. If she was actually undercover, we'd be able to see it because she's just that black. Like <laughs> that's the face she'd be making. Like mm-hmm, I'm going to take this information back to my folk. Out of all the people, he's just pulling. Not not a politician, no. but R and B singers. That's where. That's where all the hidden gems are. Is if in Patty a- LaBelle's deep state than anybody, it could be Uncle Sam. Yeah. Cisco. <laughs> Cisco, definitely. The plan's incomplete. Hmm? <laughs> hmm? The whole tinfoil. He had the, the blonde hair because he had the tinfoil protected from the red. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? Definitely. Nokia. Ah. Phone business. Mm-hmm. 5G. <laughs> Millie Vanilli. They didn't even have time. They were so busy being deep operatives to write songs. They said, just put a track up and we'll lip sync to it. Oh my gosh! You know, he's out here tripping. And if he actually gets voted in because people are crazy. Well, that brings me to my last thing. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Go. I know. I'm so disappointed. Kanye. Mm, mm, mm. Let me tell you what my actual problem with Kanye is. And it ain't even Kanye, it's us. Please. Kanye's promoting an album. We have failed for this trick how many times? Mm-hmm. And we're people, still talking about it. People really, athletes, I've seen Two Chains was like, I will vote for Kanye. Mm-hmm. People were like, I will vote Kanye in. And it's one thing to know what Kanye's doing. Like, right. Him and his family, they love to rev up the internet. Yeah. Get us talking about him. So you talk about that. Then mm-hmm. his name comes up. Then you search about Yeezy and the Gap thing. He got new music dropping. Somebody just sent me he had new music that he released. It's obvious the game they play. Yeah. What's not obvious is why we keep falling for it. That's why I didn't leave this podcast with this. For yeah. you to hear about this, you had to stay all the way, all the way the through. Because yeah. I'm not going to help you, Kanye. And people are really like, could it be worse than this? I, yes. Absolutely. Because <laughs> uh-huh. this is what happened when bro got elected yeah yes also yeah. this was funny it was the first time i saw a pre-qualifier of kanye west husband or not kanye west kim kardashian's husband kanye west is running for presidency ah. yeah. i don't know if he's losing steam period on the internet which he might be wow because not a lot of people are talking about him no but what worries me most about this is the people that might actually go vote for him as a joke yeah it's a waste of a vote yeah and we not bro like here's what i want us to understand the what I make jokes. Policies for real. Mm -hmm. The handling of the pandemic. Imagine if the president, Republican or Democrat, was like, yo, we are going to wear a mask. I'm federally mandating you have to wear a mask. Imagine where we could be. Mm -hmm. But no, the the idea of a mask has become a partisan issue. Yeah. Yeah. People are really putting their identity. I saw a video of this white woman destroying a target display of masks. They're like, I'm not going to stand for this. And she just ripped every mask off. I'm like, man, what are you? If you don't want to wear a mask, what are you? What is what is that? And it's because Trump decided it was I'm not wearing it. And Mm -hmm. COVID's not real. Mm -hmm. And therefore it became, well, if if you're with Trump, we against masks. Like, no, bro, but we want to go outside. Now we have COVID covid club and compound Uh, yeah people don't know how to uh think for themselves uh and kanye just disappoints me so it just disappoints me it's as if like none of this is serious for him and even even if he is taking it serious that's even worse you know what i'm saying like if he is taking it serious that's even worse for him to ever think that he is qualified in any way shape or form to run anything but his mouth because even that he'd be losing control over so i I imagine him trying to be on anybody's ticket in the fact that we would joke with him with all the things that we're trying to get done in a black community for people to be like I'll vote for you and yeah. I'll vote for you don't even play with this dude like right. it's it, like it's like read the room that's what I want to say read the room this is not the time to be joking about I'm gonna run for president you should have did that in year number one with Trump then we could have ha 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 we kinda. thought Trump was a joke yeah I remember when Trump was running I was like oh come on man let's be serious I was thinking there is no way there's no 
way. He, up until election night, I was like, "There's," and then he won a state in another state. It took that long and for I you remember, to, to recognize that he was going to win? It's not that. I feel like I just could not, in my mind, I could not fathom mm. that we wouldn't see this for what it was. And um, I was, I was great. I greatly underestimated how much people were upset at Obama mm-hmm. and felt like they were losing the country and anyone but what y'all had didn't even matter. One, I remember the thing I always say, Howard Dean lost when he went, Woo! That was it. <laughs> That's all people needed from right. Howard Dean. Right. I remember when I when Trump got away with grabbing by the hootigahada, mm-hmm. I was like, okay, this is this is a candidate killer. Yeah, no. Right? When that audio came out, I was like, surely mm-hmm. this that man said oh that's just locker room talk and then white women were like ah, yeah. people talk about us all the time like that i was like oh y'all uh, yeah oh like, y'all don't care about nothing he can do. and then the, the second big thing was the Mueller report when the Mueller report was the big thing grim I, reaper that Mueller report came and, and went. went like the weekend. Yeah. And I was like, oh, we're just going to. I've already accepted he's winning again. I will I will accept nothing else. Uh, right. I've Listen, just prepared my mind. Soon as the first debates happened when he ran this first time, I knew that he was going to win. Really? Soon as the first. I said, oh, my God, he's going to win because he was being taken seriously. I know all the news outlets, the 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 like the CNNs and the. Um, NBC's or what is it MSNBC mm-hmm. all of them were saying you know Hillary was polling higher and all the other folk but I was just like nah no nah. he's still here which means he's going to win yeah. and it's not so much that people just hated Obama so much people d- don't want to see a woman win at all and not that woman specifically a woman at all but then specifically that woman listen I mean they made it specifically her it yeah. probably they probably didn't care at first and then when she put herself in that position they were like we are and you are the only person in position that could potentially beat him mm-hmm. specifically we're going to drag you through the mud so yeah. I soon as that first debate happened and he didn't disappear I said oh okay America has lost their mind yep. uh, people don't really care about anyone but themselves they don't care about black or brown people so they're Surely like <laughs> they're, they're that like, much is for sure yeah, absolutely for sure so I knew he was going to win and now that um, uh, granddaddy Joe is our only option and he's running out of steam I'm just like and then Kanye is coming up in here with talking foolishness I just oh my gosh I don't understand the man and I understand he is dealing with he's been very open about dealing with his own mental issues and that when he isn't on his medication is when he like acts out yeah. that's what he uh said to david letterman and i'm like are you not on it are you not on and it and i don't right think the, i said this before i don't think the kardashians care enough to keep him on because their whole game is the internet yeah. playing the internet against itself using clicks that's how they built businesses so if they have to sacrifice kanye's mental health to keep their money i have no doubt they would let him do whatever they could they don't care as long as they're trending it doesn't really matter what for you know what yeah. i'm saying because they're able to flip that into real Real money, like right. off camera, off Twitter, they're rich for real. Oh uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they're not, they're not playing about that money. They play no. about everything else, but that money in them accounts and being in Calabasas. Yeah, listen, they don't care about nothing or nobody. They'll run through Kanye West, toss him to the side, throw his carcass <laughs> to the side <laughs> in five years. Keep them black kids. Yeah, and have them on a TV show and in a clothing line like they gonna make money Listen. they gotta keep paying for those houses and those houses are big Man, yeah what you're talking Josh are gone yeah that hallway in Kim's and them's house is as big as this whole entire studio Listen, space my house turned around when it saw their house <laughs> Cor- Courtney's got a playhouse for their kids that's the size of my entire house a playhouse a playhouse it's a two story playhouse that's ridiculous a two story playhouse I just, I just, yeah, take they care be. Take your mentals, take care of your chicken. <laughs> um, t- when I tell you the way they have used black culture to their it's, gain, it's crazy. We don't even know how to use black culture that well. They well, figured the it thing. out. Black people, no, I don't think it's that. I, black people are not allowed to profit off black culture the way white people are mm. or non-black people are. Mm-hmm. Meg Hot Girl Summer was her thing that she just said in a song. Makeup industry took that and ran Killed with it. it. Yeah. We she couldn't the girl who invented on fleek she couldn't even profit off it the way brands did like yeah. they used it for mailing campaigns like we are systematically not allowed to profit mm. off our own Fortnite they took all them black dances 
change the name of them, put them in the game. You had to pay a little more to get those dances. Mm -hmm. Black people don't have access to to Fortnite, the capital that builds that game, Epic Games. Talk your talk, kid. You know That's what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you, you, you don't allow us to do it. Like, <clears throat> even blues music. Yeah. Yeah, mom's maybe making music, uh, or Big Mama, mom, maybe, Big Mama Thornton, mm -hmm. right? Then you have Elvis go and say, I'll re-record a yes. worse white version of your <laughs> Ab song absolutely. and be the richest rock star in the history doing a terrible rendition of real real music that right. black people created every black song made back then Ray Charles like Elvis was trash mm -hmm. there's a hundred black musicians better than all of them but white people were like can y'all whiten it up yeah. and we'll buy it from you we'll buy and it and then you. it's like this dog on Wilmington thing I just found out about on Tony's page this uh, I don't know if you have in Wilmington North Carolina what, what happened in 1898 basically white people overthrew the government and they controlled the media so they control the narrative about black people mm. they institute a coup d'etat and they and there was one black newspaper and they're like we're gonna kill that black dude and they burnt his newspaper to the ground and there's still a, a part of land that's burnt not burnt but like there's nothing that grows there to this day and then they took all of that out of the history books of course so people didn't black people don't we don't have the power yeah, to, no. to control to do the narrative and then in the media white people went out and killed black people in the street and in the newspaper the next day the white owned newspaper the next day they had black men with guns they just said we're going to change the narrative we'll be the history Listen, tellers. and when you control the narrative you control the money you control the weapons you control the media yeah what are we gonna do we just gotta run then people had and they said wilmington had was like a baby tulsa mm -hmm. right not as not as prosperous as tulsa right. but on its way had a lot of black owned businesses black owned community and white people was like no nope. nah, you can't have and that. a black person didn't win a, a seat in that city for almost a hundred years it wasn't until like 1992 angel that a black person won a seat 1992 from something that started in 1898 yeah. this is why we say it doesn't matter that slavery was 400 years ago because we still the reaping the, the the all the consequences of everything of all of it everything from jim crow to redlining to segregation to affirmative action which you think is helping black people helps white women more than anybody, anybody yeah but black people are the reason you say it's bad when mm -hmm. white women are the main benefits mm -hmm. of affirmative action it all to pull yourself up by your bootstraps to what's happening in Chicago. What's happening in Chicago, when black people kill each other in Chicago, guess what happens? They're usually arrested, charged, and prosecuted. Yeah. When police kill black people, Don't they are not arrested, mm -mm. charged, or prosecuted. That's all we're talking about. Yeah. Obviously, that's a problem in Chicago, and there's people working on that. Yeah. But we're not. We're talking about the state, the government allowing uh, this is my last thing because i'm gonna be upset i'm sorry kevin i didn't mean to no no you didn't took me there Angel. i took you down i'm like go ahead get it out black man don't Bri bottle it up anna taylor's murder brianna Taylor. was legal Come the on. no knock warrant that they issued where plain clothes officers can bust in your house and in the middle of the night up. And don't announce that they're police and don't even have to legally announce that they're police or even knock to serve a warrant and murder you was legal. legal. That concept That's sounds like it's out of a movie. So what happens is you can't kill people, black people, you can't lynch them like you could, right? You can't grab me and lynch me right. like you could. You can't pull me out of my house, right? I mean, you can, mm -hmm. but it's not, it's not allowed legally. Right. So what you do is you say, well, the police, because we thought you were, we thought. Thought thought you were a criminal we thought you had received packages here and then the media says hey man they were drug dealers and this and that and then mm. you said george floyd was murdered in the street mm. death penalty no trial right and the thing is the nra what's the worst nightmare of the nra somebody busting in your house in the middle of the night trying to harm you yeah which now what do you do when that's the police and it's legal right and you fire back at them and they charge they drop this charge but they charge her boyfriend with attempted murder for firing at a person who he didn't know was police in the middle of the night. Uh, it's legal. It's How do legal. you fight an entire system? It's illegal for them to kill us and no one be charged for it. And you talking about black on black crime. And all these black <laughs> right. people all of a sudden start hanging themselves outside. When, when we ever do that? We ain't never did that. And here's, one, here's another thing, right? These journalists started to realize this is like the last three weeks. And I'm gonna, we're going to close after this because Angel got an audition. They take the police word as the truth. Of course. And we saw in Buffalo a couple weeks ago, they pushed that old man down. Mm -hmm. And the police head. said he, he tripped, tripped and fell when we had already seen what happened. That should beg the question. Everything. The police, 
wait, what if they're not even telling the truth? And the Ever. journalist says, this is the truth, and they run with it. And by the time you find out it's not the truth, it's too late. That officer is off, gone. Even when they get fired, they often just move to another city. They get fired and they get that pension, bro. Yeah, they still getting pension. If if fired even happens, because a lot of times they don't. They just be sent on paid leave, a, which is called a vacation. In Houston or Texas today, a police officer just shot and killed his wife at home. Do you know the rate of police officer domestic violence oh, is through high. the roof? It's oh, high. high. Right? Yeah. We love you guys. We just went there. Bonus episode, <laughs> be a little lighter. There's uh, some stuff or might not. We don't know what happened. Right, last, time, the last time Jada went off that same day. Same day. You yeah. don't know what's going to happen. We don't know. So join the Patreon for more laughs and more realness. KevonStateStudios.com. Help make sure Angel's compensated. We got to go. Angel got to audition so she can be famous and be on a television show. And, and, and her kids will all be famous and it'll be angel studios and we can take over another office yeah you know, whole another office. kevin state studios we'll, we'll kick the lawyer out from across the way boom we'll have studios <laughs> right boom. here angel can stay in this neighborhood we love y'all shout out to beyonce she's the best she's, she's the greatest the best. see y'all next week